Hey, hey, Ella. I'm Miss Ingrid, and today we are going to make, make crayfish party hats. Now, if you don't know what a crayfish party is, it's this wonderful tradition in Sweden when people get together with their friends and family in August and have a big party outside and eat a lot of crayfish, which are those funny little animals that look a little bit like lobsters that are red and they have shells and they have antennas and they're really yummy and delicious. And this party can get kind of silly and a lot of people will wear hats while they're celebrating. So today we are going to show you how to make your own crayfish party hat. So my friends, for this, you can use items once again from around your house. So for the hat itself, I'm using some lighter cardboard. Um, this came from a wrapping paper cover, or you could use poster board or even construction paper. And then I have a scissors, a pencil, a stapler, or you could use glue if you like. And then your choice for coloring in your hat. I prefer using watercolor, so I have my watercolors right here, but you could use markers or colored pencils or crayons or stamps, whatever you like. And then I'm also going to make a pom-pom for the top of my hat, so I have some yarn here as well. So my friends, to fit the hat, you're gonna to want to measure your head with your cardboard or your paper. I have a pretty big head, so it, I had to use a lot of cardboard, and you're gonna measure around and see how big you need it to fit. And then you're going to trace out your shape. And to make our hats, they're a little bit shorter, so you actually can trace a pretty um, small triangle. It doesn't have to be really pointed. So when I'm tracing my triangle, I'm gonna use my pencil and make it not super high, kind of more like a, a hill, less like a mountain. And so I have it traced down like this, if you can see, it's pretty low. And so my friends, I actually already cut out the hat to fit my size to save us some time. So that is over here. So as you can see, it's pretty long because I have a pretty long, pretty big noggin, um, but it's pretty short. So when I fold it, the, the hat won't go super high. And I also went ahead and already drew my patterns. So you can see a lot of the colors for crayfish parties are reds and orange and yellow. So I drew my little crayfish buddy right here. He's pretty fun. And then a lot of crayfish party hats have bright, really fun suns. So I did some suns and some curly cues. This is really choose your own adventure. You can paint whatever you like or color whatever you like. I decided to do a little crayfish. Okay, so I have my hat cut out. I have my hat decorated with my paints and I let it dry. So now it's time to make a pom-pom. You don't have to make a pom-pom for the top of your hat. I think it's pretty fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some yarn. I'm using red yarn to match my hat. I'm going to take one end. I'm just going to wrap it around my hand like this. I want kind of a big fun pom-pom, so I'm going to wrap it several times until it's about this big. I'm going to cut the top of my yarn like so. And then while I'm holding this in my hand, I'm going to cut another length of my yarn to tie around my pom-pom. And I'm gonna slip off my yarn and hold it like so. And then I'm gonna make sure I, I tie it, not exactly in the middle, as close as you can get to the middle. Don't want this to fly away. So I'm gonna tie off my pom-pom like so. Friends, this is a really fun thing to learn because then you can make pom-poms for your hats in the winter or for your shoes or for a sweater. So I have tied off the middle of my thing of wool and I'm gonna take one side where I've made all these loops and take my scissors and just cut all the way through like so. This yarn is kind of hard to cut. And then we have the start of my pom-pom. And then if there's a couple left over, that's okay. Just snip them, all the circles. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And now you can fluff it up. Ooh, I got my fun little pom-pom. If you want to make sure all of the 
little strings that same length you can go around and kind of trim ones that seem a little bit long to make them more even if you like I like when they look kind of funny and crazy but that's just my personal preference so I have my pom-pom so now I'm gonna take my hat and just once again measure it around my head till I have that fun fun shape like so that looks good And then you could use glue or tape. I decided to staple my hat. So here we go. They look kind of silly, which is really fun. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and staple it. And if you have a little bit extra too, I have a little bit of excess cardboard on the bottom, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that off. And then go ahead and staple my two pieces together at the bottom to make sure it's nice and secure, like so. I'm going to trim this side too to make sure it's nice and even. And now I'm going to attach my pom-pom to the top. What I'm going to do is I left a little tail from when I tied it off. I'm just going to staple that tail right to my cardboard. Again for this you could use a hot glue gun if you have it, you could use tape, I just thought I'd use a staple to make sure it's really secure. Now I'm having trouble getting the stapler to work. I'm gonna staple it in a couple places to make sure it's really firm and not too floppy. And there you go. Now I have my little crayfish hat. If you want, you could even put a string around it so it stays in your head and you are ready to go. Thanks for watching. Hello.